and my next review in the Cheapest Chips Bluetooth Speaker Challenge. And today we're going to be reviewing the Lenru Bluetooth Speaker. This is the A2, for the Lenru A2. Comes in a sort of fairly bland box like this, and inside the box is obviously the speaker, which I've taken out earlier to save some time. It's a nice, uh, aesthetically pleasing speaker. Uh, this particular one I got in red, but it does come in black, silver, um, gold and rose gold, I think. So you have several choices. And uh, with the box, there is also obviously the instruction manual, which is huge, enormous. That's it. <laughs> and again, it's all in Chinese. So keep that in mind. Most of these speakers tend to come with a small Chinese manual. But there's so little to these things, I don't think it really matters that there's no English version. But it wouldn't be that difficult, I don't think, for them to, to do it. So they should. In the future, they should consider uh, doing a little English manual. There are plenty of English speakers in China who could help them create one. Inside the box, there is this cable. Okay, so you get your tiny manual in Chinese. And you also get this single cable. Uh, one end of the cable is a micro USB, and at the other two ends, there is a dual cable. You have a full-size USB and a 2.5 mil jack. So this obviously could plug into uh, your headphone socket on your laptop, and then this other end would plug into here, so you're actually getting your sound directly that way, rather than the USB. This also, the full-size USB can go into a charger, into the laptop, and then again, the micro USB will go in here to charge this unit. So, that's what's included. One cable, one micro, mini manual, and the speaker itself. Now, a lot of people have uh, mentioned that these speakers, usually when they turn on, they announce something in Chinese, something to the effect that Bluetooth is turned on. Um, the nice thing about this one is it doesn't. It actually just uses a musical tone. So let's just turn it on and see how it sounds. And that's it. That's all it does. So there's no, no issue with, uh, with some Chinese voice coming on and announcing that Bluetooth is enabled. And a lot of people have been saying, well, you know, how can I disable that Bluetooth or how can I change that uh, voice or change it to English? I don't think you can. I mean, pretty much it's programmed in. It's in the BIOS somewhere, so you're stuck with it. But it's not a big issue, really, even if it does announce in Chinese, you know. It only takes a second and then it's on. And when you turn it off, maybe it also announces it's turning itself off. But it's not affecting the performance of the unit, so it shouldn't really matter. Anyway, so this is on now, and what I've done is I've paired it up to my old Xiaomi phone here, just so that we can uh, listen to it. And uh, I've got some music on my OTG here. And I've also got this, this is my Huawei phone, which is set up with a audio meter. So you can see some, I'll get some indication of the level. And so let's go into here. And let's play a little bit of music. Okay, so something a bit funky to start with. And I apologize in advance for my dance moves. As you'll see, I'm not a dancer, but I do enjoy music. <laughs> 